It's day six of my quest to do one thing each day to improve my blog at michelleschafer.com in some way. And my action step for today is that I will be reinstalling a mobile theme back on my site. I used to have one, and when I redesigned my site, changed a couple things, I couldn't get it to do what I wanted, so I'd taken it off there. But I really should have a mobile theme on my website, and if you're running WordPress, it's really easy to do. By adding a mobile theme, you make it easy for people who are surfing the web on their smartphones or on their iPhone, their iPod Touch, uh, whatever they're using to access the internet, um, mobile, it's easier for them to view your content if you have a mobile theme. So the one I'm going to install is called WP Touch, and I saw this recommended by Chris Brogan, so I figured it was worth a try. Here's how to install it. I'm on my dashboard, I'm already logged in to WordPress, and I'm going to go over here under Plugins and click Add New. I'm going to search for WP Touch. There it is, so all I've got to do is click Install Now, confirm that I do want to install it. And it's installed, so now I can activate the plugin. Okay, since I'm running a caching plugin as well, every time I add a new plugin, I have to empty my page cache. You may or may not have to do that step. Now I'm going to scroll down and look for WP Touch. There it is, and I'm going to click the settings link so that I can make sure the settings are the way I'd like them. It gives you some different options that you can set up here. Okay, one thing you can do is set a different front page for your mobile visitors. If you want to do that, you can do it here. You can put in your site title. Any categories that you don't want to show up um, for your mobile visitors, for example, if you had a category that was all your flash videos or something else that does not work well on mobile phones, you might want to exclude that category so your mobile visitors don't get frustrated trying to access your content. You can change justification, you can decide what you want to show. Um, you want to show your name, your tags, excerpts. You can put in a copyright footer. Just a bunch of different options here that you can decide how you want to customize it. It also allows you to customize your colors. Add some icons if you want. There's all sorts of different options here. You can even activate AdSense. If you're running AdSense on your website, you can enter your information here to add AdSense to your mobile theme. This is a nice feature of this particular mobile theme. It will tell you which of your plugins are ready or not ready to work with this theme. For example, I've got some caching things that I need to look at here and make sure that my cache plugin is set up correctly to work with WP Touch. Okay, there's some other plugins here that don't work with it, so I would want to look and see if I'm using those, what I'm using them for, is there an alternative that would work with it? Just something to kind of keep in mind. This makes it easy for you to know if there's going to be any conflicts. After you go through your settings, you can just click Save Options, and then go grab your smartphone, your iPod Touch, your iPhone, whatever it is that you surf mobile with um, and see what it looks like. I am off to grab my iPod Touch and see what I get when I visit my site.